yep i did it i went ahead and i bought an iphone 7 in 2020 and i'm gonna tell you why so firstly i'm gonna tell you from where i bought it so i bought it from a online website called too good and i got it refurbished basically not not second hand or not used i got it refurbished for a pretty reasonable price not gonna lie and the only downside about refurbished products is you won't get the actual box the actual phone box you will get it in the box by the company that refurbished your phone so this was the box i got it in but inside this was another box so this was the box right over here and this is nothing but the company that refurbished the iphone and gave it to me so it is called yantra and on the box it says mobile repair refurb and resale so this is the box itself as you can see and uh, yeah i'll just quickly unbox this and show you what all i got in the box itself so there you go as you can see the box i had nothing but a power cable which is type a2 lightning and an adapter which is i think a fast charger let me quickly check i did not even take it out of the box because i don't want it honestly and again as you can see it is the uh, company branded and yeah, it's definitely not a fast charger so that's all you get uh, in the box and with the box and the the condition i bought it in uh, was good not superb but it was good and to my surprise i got a really really good device so i'll just quickly keep everything aside and we'll take a look at the phone itself so you can clearly see on the phone i already have a tempered and a case installed as you can see it is a very minimal case and a very minimal tempered glass uh, but the condition i got in or a condition i got the phone in was really really good there were like only two scratches on the front of the screen uh, which were not even noticeable so i'm pretty thankful for that and on the back there were only two spots where the color was chipped off so it it felt like a superb phone but again i got it as a as a good condition one and yeah i do not even regret my purchase so now basically i'm going to tell you why i bought this so if you are subscribed or if you are a subscriber of mine from a very long time you know that i recently bought the iphone 12 which is right over here and i'm just gonna keep it over here and you guys must also know that i also had a pixel with me previously that i recently sold because again it went out of the software update life cycle and it completed three years and yeah no more future updates so i sold it so the point is i basically shoot my videos on a on a mobile device i don't have an i don't have an expensive camera or an expensive gear so everything i shoot is on a mobile phone or on a smartphone uh, so i was initially planning to buy the 6s the main reason was if i go into the settings if i go into the camera real quick and if i go into the video settings the main thing i wanted was 4k and 6s with it brought 4k 30 fps uh, iphone 6 did not have 4k 6s brought with it 4k 30 fps recording and the main thing i wanted was 4k recording because i shoot everything in 4k so that's that's what i wanted and i thought why not just buy a 6s and shoot a four shoot in 4k but then i thought uh, that 6s is also like not getting any future updates ios 14.0 is the last update the 6s is gonna get iphone 7 on the other hand is going to get the ios 15 update as well so why not buy a phone with one year of software updates official software update that is so yeah i pulled the trigger and bought myself an iphone 7 this most surprising thing for me uh, was to go into the battery and see the battery percentage or battery health this is the very first thing that i did is check on the battery health and it was and it is 100 percent of battery health if you guys can see uh yeah this was very surprising considering it is a refurbished phone i thought the battery might the battery health might be degraded or stuff i didn't know that they re that, like replace the battery before sending out a refurbished unit i don't know how good the battery is or how original the battery is but nonetheless i got a phone with 100 percent battery life and i am pretty happy about it so yeah all the future videos that i'm going to shoot will be on the iphone 7 which will be in 4k uh and yeah 
this is my setup again nothing new very similar to what i have on the iphone 12 here if you see this is my iphone 12 and yeah it is it is pretty similar to what the iphone 12 has but anyway this is not about iphone 12 i want to take it and yeah i don't mind the performance and everything um I'm, i've been using it since a day i got it yesterday and the performance has been good as well if i quickly let's say i want to listen to a podcast and this app was open yesterday and it is still in memory ios just does things so so good and so better than android uh, but anyways yeah so that's what i have the iphone 7 for all the future videos will be shot on the iphone and yeah stay tuned for that but yeah for all that is pretty much it thank you for watching this was the reason for me of me buying the iphone 7 in 2020 thank you for watching if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in the next one